Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, how to uh, customize a um, JWM tray tray bar which is up here now uh, but on default setting and uh, most of the tray bar would be on the bottom uh, this is Bionic Pup 64 and the app the uh, configuration files uh, which uh, control the appearance and function of this uh, uh, tray bar is uh, usually consists of three files in Puppy Linux. <coughs> JWMRC personnel file which is within the hidden folder of JWM from the root level. Let me just show you. Uh, so uh, this uh, uh, personnel file will be at root level here, JWM. This is the file that we're seeing right now. So that actually just uh, has a minimal uh, bearing on the uh, uh, tray appearance and uh, uh, customization, but it does have the important uh, width, desktop width of three and <coughs> height of two, which refers to the uh, column and the row of the uh, pager. It's a workspace. Uh, um, uh, uh, sp spaces which are uh, there are six that I prefer and so this uh, in J uh, JWMRC personnel file these two lines uh, determine the uh, a column and row number of the uh, 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 tray. Uh, main appearance and coloring is controlled by JWMRC theme file which is, is still in the same uh, hidden directory of .jwm and that are mainly controlled with tray style section and the pager style. The tray style section determines what kind of font will be used and the color of the uh, lettering and also the background uh, bar which is in this case red and black and then pager style. Uh, pager again is this uh, uh, six workspaces and uh, that uh, controls uh, the uh, coloring and appearance of, uh, of the uh, pager. Is a JWMRC uh, dash a tray file which is in the, at a root level so if you take a look at here uh, this will be the file here tray which is right here and this is the file that we're looking at in uh, Genie which is a, a main editor in Puppy Linux. So uh, within the uh, bracket of JWM and here and here are all the uh, configuration of the uh, uh, JWM uh, tray. So uh, so most uh, on a default out of the box default setting is uh, this bar is on the bottom so I simply put the top here vertical alignment top so it brings it up here and uh, you can certainly change the height of this uh, bar by the function here you can uh, I have it at 22 pixels but you can certainly change that <coughs> and save and then reboot and it'll be reflected in the changes, whatever the changes that you make. <coughs> the uh, space or width I've elected to give 100 uh, pixels here and likewise 100 pixels here. So this is what's reflected here and also here. That's the end of the uh, uh, leave puppy, uh, this uh, exit button. So, get out of there. So that's uh, how that works. And then a tray a label, the menu here, here, this here. And I have uh, modified the spacing and uh, a lettering, a semicolon and so on. So, and it also refers to the icon. Uh, default icon is white color, but I ma I changed that into GIMP, and uh, I uh, prefer red color, uh, which is same color as the power button on this side. So, and uh, root uh, colon three refers to uh, the uh, the menu that you get. So, 
and that's the same as if you just uh, push an F12 button uh, key. So, and again, I put in a little bit of spacer here, and this 10 is refers to uh, pixels here, and followed by the browser rocks and the terminal. So the uh, Vivaldi, in my case, rocks and terminal. And it's just a matter of plugging in the uh, correct icon and the uh, and uh, uh, name of the command. Uh, I have a browser.sh in my own uh, script but, uh, because I only want the uh, browser to uh, start only in uh, uh, Windows uh, desktop number one. So that's but. You can just uh, enter uh, Firefox or Vivaldi or whatever here, uh, whatever the command that starts the uh, application. So Rocks Filer works the exactly the same way, and Terminal. And then I uh, elected to go ahead and put some spacer here. It's actually 240. The total is 240, so I don't really need uh, 10 here. We'll just go ahead and, and then we'll go ahead and insert 40, 10 more here. And then we'll save it. So that determines the number of uh, pixels here. And likewise, I'll put in the, uh, this is the pager and afterwards we want to uh, put in a, a spacer here. So pager is here. And the spacer is here, so I put in uh, 200. And for my display, uh, uh, th this works uh, fine. I rather have uh, most of the critical information uh, in the center. It this uh, tells me uh, what the applications that are open in the present uh, workspace, which is uh, f uh, fifth uh, workspace. So active uh, for fifth workspace there's rocks and then genie that's work so there are two rocks uh, file managers so let me see if i can go ahead and i can you can see there's two two rocks and then uh, a genie which is here the there is no spacer uh, uh here but it's this area is determined the length of the spacer you give left and right of it. So if you make this number large, for example, this will move it a little bit closer to the uh, test, uh, test list. So I also uh, uh, forgot to mention the test list. Maximum width is 20. Because if you make that, uh, uh, for example, 100, what you're going to have is not only the icon, but you'll have the uh, text file identifying that this is indeed rocks filer. And I'd rather just have a small icon to tell me what the application that are open is. So I made it on my uh, uh, display, the 20 works just perfect. After the dock, which is here, these are the docks. Uh, these are programs that you start on boot, on starting. So after that, I give it a little bit of 10 pixels here. And then followed by the clock configuration. And uh, I like this configuration. Uh, and it results in this here appearance. And then afterwards, I give it a little bit of 20 pixels. And then uh, power leave button. And again, the spacer width. That's how the, uh, and w it's just a matter of just saving it and then just uh, either reboot or just JWM restart will we'll, uh, start the uh, bar. So it refreshes the reading of the bar, whatever the changes you make. So that's how this works. So I hope I explained uh, how this configuration uh, is done. And uh, I recommend that you don't use the uh, JWM Desk Manager because it doesn't really make it. So here, here's a tray and it 
gives you a chance to go ahead and put it on the top or bottom or so on, but it really does not give you fine detail or of uh, what you can do in a uh, manual setting and looking at the numbers, uh, look at the whatever the uh, entry that you need to do uh, in a manual uh, setting. So I think I find it this much easier. I hope this has been helpful to you.